good afternoon na kakiw tatam skat no no ako magantik minung ay kapegiyote tsukuta. Thank you uh, for attending this uh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, oh, gee, what do you call it? A uh, <laughs> historic, some, some historic is kind of <clears throat> like something you put in on on a shelf. You know, <laughs> interesting holy day. Mama tau gisigao, you know, mama tau gisigao. Eut <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, during the 1800s, uh, it was very chaotic in Canada, and not only, you know, we were the ones that had it together. And uh, <coughs> when, you know, with the, with the preparation uh, of, of these visitors coming to talk about the uh, uh, you know, and uh, today now we, we know that as, uh, as uh, treaty making. And, and uh, they were well prepared, and and uh, the and and it, uh, it went on. Uh, the, the treaty making took place, and uh, whatever the uh, the the authority of that day, the international legal authority of that day, agreed to the terms and conditions set out by the Indians. So it, it, today we call that the app, you know the application of international rule of law, and the application of tribal rule of law. Every time uh, post treaty making, you just heard the history of what happened. Why? Because it distort the fact of the of the traditional and I see new view. Understanding Kichuitaskiwin through tribal eyes. And here is the affiliated tribes of Treaty 6 that listen to that holy order how to set out the terms of treaty. So, a lot of work and a lot of research have been put in. The federal government, the provincial government keep resourcing these developments. And then there were two types of agendas right from the beginning. There was the Canadian corporate multinational agenda <coughs> of, the of the land. And, uh, and that included our territory, 58% of Canada, treaties 1 to 11. That's what was spoken of here. But they set out the terms, and, the, and it, 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 it was a rule of law of the day, still the rule of law of the day, because all, all all ones that are interested in law. Uh, law doesn't uh, grow old. Only us grow old. <laughs> and I'm getting there. Now, <laughs> every time uh, a case of interest, of treaty interest, comes before the authorities in, in, in this world, we, we've experienced it, you know, the courts. The court somewhat has been, you know, the, the decisions have been made in, in, the, in the best interest of the treaty Indians. So further research was done, the revisiting of the London lobby, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And to this date now, what we need to attempt is what was supposed to have taken place here with the Willow Cree Indians. You hear the term, Willow Cree, Willow Cree, Willow Cree. Willow Cree Governance Center. Eguanistanan, Battle River Governance Center. That's what we're talking about there. We want to re represent ourselves accordingly as, as the Crown representative spoke here eloquently. Eu guanan mi tago ke kipiksko wen no kagitio. 
na mo ikaga ta si aso kam ko ke ka pi to kata ya o ma ga ke o mo ta da we de si ben to se chief to use the same process of mitigation of the highest holy sacred order of mitigation and reinvigorating treaty crown relations accordingly and this is our task as technicians and the the, the, the this is our task to to again regroup as treaty 6 and don't be surprised uh, in the near future that a willow creek gathering will take place here somewhere we already have a Battle River Cree Treaty Indians gathering. And it's all, the objective is all in accordance to treaty, to keep relations intact accordingly. You don't have to get militant. Get, like I said here, get educated. We will be, there will be special institutions to re-educate you to be able to function the tribal Indian way. Just imagine during treaty making, it was all war chiefs. It was all chiefs that have gone to war, adventures. And when they finished the agreement, it was the purest, purest of agreements from both sides. He said, we will not be able to maintain this ourselves. We will not be able to administer this ourselves. But in due time in the future, he says, there will be a time when hands exist that are not tainted. And who were they talking about? The, uh, the, the graduates, the academics. You are now the next generation leaders and let's continue these good 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 meetings good discussions and good relations with both the provincial and the crown in right of canada thank you